Dozi Mogwosi founded Dozi Mogwosi Foundation in December 2021 to, to drive and promote the progress of Africa as well as create an environment where Africans can thrive by encouraging overall human development in Africa with a focus on preference to rural regions through strategically placed charitable resource and projects. Uh, joining us now from London to discuss the unveiling of the foundation is Dozi Mogwosi, CEO of Tingo Incorporated, and founder of Dozi Mogwosi Foundation. Great to have you, sir. So tell us a little bit about your background and what was growing up like for you. As they come, please, personal assistance, if you can help us do that. Um, yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Okay, yeah, I, I was born in Lagos, Nigeria, several years ago, over 40 years ago, and um, started my business in Nigeria 21 years ago. Um, I didn't start as an agri-fintech business. Um, we started as a ringtone production company uh, down to become a mobile phone importer to manufacturing um, or assembling mobile phones in Nigeria. And then the idea for us is to provide financial inclusion services to smallholder farmers across Nigeria and, of course, um, by extension, across Africa. Um, today, we are a USA uh, company, but with operations in uh, Nigeria and about 12 other African companies and uh, countries and growing. Um, for the foundation, last year I set it up um, just to give back um, to my home country and um, also with plans to provide uh, whatever help we need to provide to my other African, um, to other Africans like me. Okay. Um in 2021, you started the Dozi Mobusi Foundation. Mm -hmm. Was the um, idea behind this uh, foundation? And in a short space of time, how has it grown or changed? And what challenges have you faced? Well, um, yes, we started in 2021, and um, everything I do must start from home first. The idea was um, to first support um, people with prostate cancer-related issues. Um, but of course, that's not the only challenge uh, we have back home. Almost every black man faces a risk of, um, you know, having prostate cancer. Uh, my, my father was diagnosed of it, but we were able to sort it out because we had resources to. But of course, millions of black men all over the world do not have the resources to do this. So the first thing I did was um, to set up mobile screening centers, I'm sure across Lagos um, and the Southwest, and other southern parts of Nigeria, as we extend to the northern parts, so you must have been seeing our coaches, you know, what they call luxurious buses in Nigeria. You must have seen these buses moving around, going into communities and supporting, you know, people, screening them. And in, in, in the space of about uh, six months, we have um, screened several thousands and um, possibly over 70 cases that we're attending to and uh, giving them treatment. So the idea is um, we have a two bed mobile clinic moving around communities we partner um, religious leaders community leaders um, you know even political um, leaders across um, nigeria for now um, in terms of challenges um, we know how nigeria can be challenging you know even going to certain communities uh, my chief operating officer for instance was telling me that um, after screening um, people even government um, officials were asking for you know, you know, do you want to give us something? But look, this is this is us giving back. We don't want um, a hostile environment. These are some of the challenges we see in Nigeria, but it's not something we can't um, deal with. What we want to do is just, you know, keep supporting despite the challenges. Um, in terms of um, funding and, you know, all other support, we do not, as um, a foundation, take um, funding from, from anyone. It's... Um, family funded, 10% um, of everything my family earns from the business we have set up um, goes into the foundation and we've created a sustainable way to keep the foundation going. We've just completed a 30 bed hospital in the Lekki Arctic of Lagos, which will be launched later in the year. And all other programs, including focusing on education, um, supporting entrepreneurs um, across Africa. For instance, 30 entrepreneurs will be coming to Oxford um, February of next year, and we intend to keep doing that every year. Get 30 entrepreneurs from across Africa to study at Oxford for a few weeks and then get them ready for, for business. 
All right. Uh, so what differentiates the Dozi Umabosi yeah. Foundation from other organizations? Because uh, there's a whole lot that uh, you're doing. Well, it's, it's not a whole lot, really. If you look at it, um, you know, we must start. It's one step at a time for us. What differentiates us clearly, and I actually hinted on it um, a few seconds ago, we are a family-supported um, foundation. We are dedicating a part of whatever we make. I don't call it wealth or whatever, but it's a part of what we earn in Africa. It has to go back to Africa. So we do not um, look for support from from other um, for, from individuals. If I want to support my people back home, uh, I don't need my friends in the diaspora to support me. All I'm asking um, all that diasporans is, uh, look, if a thousand of us can support home, um, let's just support home. You know, you have um, family, relatives, you have friends who need, you know, beyond the stipends you send back home, be it school fees or whatever. We need to start seeing how we can give back to our society. We don't need to expect government um, to, to do everything for us. Okay, who are the people that benefit from the Dozimbobosi Foundation and how? Okay, um, the first focus is healthcare. Um, like I said earlier, millions of black men um, across the world are suffering from prostate cancer or prostate-related um, ailments. First, the idea is to get um, men across Nigeria to get screened. Um, so, uh, like I said, we've had um, several thousands um, already benefiting from this program. That's the mobile screening um, clinics that we have uh, we have moving around Nigeria right now. So every black man is open to get support from here. So when you see our bosses and of course when our community partners come to you to get screened, the, the bosses are there. You know, it's a two bed clinic. Um, you just go in there free of charge, get screened, and if you have any. Um, prostate related ailment, you know, we are here to support. So basically men first, and then um, we have several programs. For instance, um, we're supporting um, girls in tech, and um, you know, that's a program my team is working on uh, for early next year. So men across Nigeria for a start, of course we intend to extend to Africa, but every black man, you know, we're open to supporting them. I'm a black man, and of course, first I would um, look at um, providing that kind of support. So, so what do you think, you know, the ver beneficiaries of this will say is the best thing about this uh, Dozima Wasi Foundation, you know, out of all the things you've done? Sorry, can you, can you repeat that? What, what do you think the beneficiaries will say is the best out of all of this they've enjoyed from the foundation? Well, for, for, for us, um, personally, I'm data driven. I, you know, from start to finish, uh, we're able to assess where they are. I, I can't um, tell which is the best. So it's for them to, we're not about that really. Um, for us, what we want to do is just touch, um, touch the, the lives we want to touch and, um, you know, give back the way we want to give back. Uh, I'm sure they, you know, they, they would be benefiting from whatever it is and, um, I don't really bother about what they, they would have to say uh, maybe two or three years from now or even weeks, months from now. Okay, very briefly, as briefly as you can make it. What are the key indicators by which you measure your impact? I think, you know, we'll be interested in that. In, in a way, I'd um, even answered that. Like I said, we're data-driven. Um, for us, from start to finish, we, you know, the kind of input we've been able to, you know, um, we, we've seen that um, we've, we've recorded over 70 cases and, you know, we're able to track these things on a daily basis. So that's basically um, how it is for us. There, there are no exact key indicators for us um, since we, we are data driven. We know that from start to finish, we, we, we check on all, all the beneficiaries from time to time. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dozimo Bozi, for joining us on the morning show. Thank you very much indeed. Yes.